Hey there great people, so something completely fresh and new for you people out there, I'm going to be reacting to Vice News, I hope you've heard of the channel, it's absolutely massive, um, they have an amazing channel um, and according to a big subscriber I watch on a regular basis on YouTube, uh, they never put in any copyright claims or strikes if you use their content to make reaction videos, so hopefully fingers crossed that is true. So the video is called living homeless in the desert and by the way this is in la county in the mojave desert i hope you enjoy this and hopefully no copyrights for me by the way i've watched this before this video weeks and weeks and weeks back and it was brilliant i thought let's get on with it move out of the way as you can see for a minute i'll move myself back up for multiple years it's kind of gotten used to it it was harsh out there. The summers yeah. out here are brutal and the winters are unforgiving. You got a hose. About 40 miles north of Los Angeles is the city of Lancaster. And just beyond that is where Jeff Van Gary has lived for the last nine years. Wow. It must be hard. How? It sucks. You know, it's like fun and games. Especially being all the way out here out of town, you know, it's hard to get anywhere to... Like I said, I'm going to try and react to these as much as I can. This is a bit of a, a tester at the minute. Um, like I said, I watch a big YouTuber and he's done loads. He's probably done a hundred of these uh, reactions to Vice News. Um, and he said he's never got a copyright claim or a strike against his channel because he never issue them against people that react to it. So hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, like I said, that is true because I'd love to do more of these because they've got thousands, I think they've got thousands of videos and they're awesome. Everything from living in the desert to drugs to homelessness to anything you can think of, they've got it pretty much. It's amazing. So hopefully this will all be good. Get food or drink. Let's go out that way. Just imagine living out there. Gary doesn't have a car oh. or running water. Neighbor, is it? Which Helping. means whenever he can get a ride into town, yeah. he takes it. It's like the F-150. You go usually probably once or twice a week and fill up one or two of those 55 gallon drums. You can use it for everything, you know, bathrooms, cleaning up, dishes, cooking, everything. No <laughs> trespassing sign in front of me as well. Trying to stay out of your own head. It's not like I woke up one day and said, hey, I want to go live in the desert and make life, uh, I will quickly say, as we're just a few minutes into this video, it is currently 2.25 a.m. here. And literally, we've just put in the Goodness in People video up, literally about an hour ago or something. I barely had time to eat yesterday or today up to now, because it's only 2.25 in the morning, but I barely had a chance to do anything. So, don't blame me, please, if I'm going to have a little Budweiser here, yeah? On a cigarette, I need them. If you've been through what I've been through the last three months, you'd understand why. So, please... Don't comment. Oh, I need. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just making an excuse up here, but it's true. Thousand times more difficult for myself. I'm gonna have a cigarette for one. Sorry. The circumstances led up to it, and I quite figured out the circumstances that'll get me out of it yet. I guess. Ben Gary is homeless, and out here he's not alone. So driving around this part of the desert, you see encampments in pretty much every direction. Some of them are larger groupings of trailers, and others are individuals out on their own that. with nobody around. Hundreds of people without homes live in this part of the Mojave Desert, unincorporated wow. land just beyond Avenue G, one of the city limits of Lancaster. Were you ever within the city limits? Yeah. And why did you move out here? Pretty much told by uh, law enforcement that the only way not to be messed with, i.e. our camps ransacked or um, bulldozed or even burnt down, would be to move north of G, which G is that street right there. Law enforcement just treated us like dirt, you know? And they just wanted us out of their city. You don't go so you feel somewhere. like you were really pushed out of the city? Not feel like we were. 
More than half of all unsheltered people in the U.S. live in California. In L.A. County, authorities have prioritized crackdowns on encampments. It looks like a bit like Skid Row. Off the streets and out of sight. I think it's a different city. It might be. It might be the same city. they've had little to no success in addressing the root of the problem, encampments just pop up somewhere else. Lancaster is an especially tough place to be unhoused. Homeless people make up one percent of the population but received 25% of the city's citations. The mayor has called homeless people criminals and thugs, what? and even suggested residents arm themselves in defense. We are not going to look like LA. We are not going to have people. Let's have a look at this. Parked on the sidewalk. August 23rd. Sorry, I'm just moving out of the way so you can see it. August 23rd, city of Lancaster. Daddy? And that's the mayor. Wow, huh? he needs to learn some compassion and maybe live live a like live, right. live a week or as many waters sorry, as would fit live in a week in her shoes. There's actually more. A nice woman. Eve Garrow has over. spent years analyzing Southern California's homeless policies and police practices. That's pretty like gold. Pretty like gold out that water. Kind of archaic practice, but you ask unhoused people, and it happens to them all the time. The difference is that out here they're being told to go deep into the Mojave Desert and a lot of these people are very vulnerable you know I mean I worry about them surviving out here most citations given to homeless people in Lancaster shift are for things side. like camping, loitering or panhandling infractions that the ACLU considers as criminalizing homelessness who is responsible for what's happening out here? the city of Lancaster is not sorry to keep moving myself around the screen but i'm just trying to move myself out the way so you can see all the graphics on the screen like them figures are uh, like the crime apparent crime figures sorry towards people who are unhoused they don't treat this as a humanitarian crisis they don't treat it as a housing inconvenience crisis. it seems they treat like unhoused people as if they are criminals when their only crime is not having enough income yeah. to afford say a two thousand dollar a month you know one bedroom apartment i couldn't afford that hell never not even not even a third of that probably so when they came through they came through with a bulldozer they started over there and at the end of the way down there and they just started sarah odom. everything down towards the end. resident sarah odom lost her job and became homeless last year three months ago the city came to bulldoze the camp she was living in why no, I'm standing right. my ground. I'm not gonna move. Sorry, let me move again. Move. August the first. Oh, this year. Do you guys have a phone? Can you record it? This year. So as wow. I'm arguing with public safety and, and the police, I decided, okay, fine. I grabbed Four all months and a day ago. It's disgusting. Just threw it over the wall because I was like, I don't want my stuff to get. You know, it's all like kind of so pretty much got. left. So I just you didn't want it to get bolded. No, no. Police still do regular sweeps of the area. But Odom refuses to leave. Don't blame this her. This thing is pretty stripped from everybody kind of using it. Oh, I see. But um, you just got to really get like a good grip on it. And... Whoa. Yeah. So this is how we... I try not to waste too much water. California is in a drought. Have you gotten citations? I've gotten illegal camping tickets. I've gotten four. And I fought them all in court. Because you if I say that I'm guilty... Of illegal camping, it means I'm guilty of a crime. Being homeless, homeless is not a crime. Yeah. So public safety, they're like code enforcement, right? So when they were out with law enforcement during the sweep, they are the ones that told me to my face, "Oh yeah, just go out in the middle, you know, past Avenue G. We won't bother you there. We don't bother any of you guys out there. You can go be homeless out there if you want." And I'm like, and that means going to the desert. That means going out into the desert where there's nothing and not for miles, for miles. I don't have a car. You know, I'm walking in flip-flops as it is, and I, I don't want to be segregated from society. I want to get back into working, and how am I supposed to do that in an area where there's nothing for miles? How can you help I yourself like and there's nothing so around? I to get lost out there. You're being pushed they out all the time. Gone. They want to sweep us under the rug, and I'm sorry, but I refuse to be swept under a rug. The human beings, you know? Why? Policing in Lancaster good. is handled by the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. When we reached out for the story, the local deputies declined to speak with us. But the LASD did let us film with their homeless outreach services team. Yeah, this will be. It's a relatively small unit. This will be BS. What we just showed the cameras. 
their deputies claim to have never made an arrest or used force. So today we're going to do a ride-along with the homeless outreach team of the L.A. Sheriff's Department as they go into the desert and talk to the people living out there. They got over 7 million subscribers by me, so because of the fact they brought the cameras here with the LAPD cops here, it's going to be all BS, it's all going to be like nicey nicey, it's not going to be what they normally do. operations in this part of the county. How long have you been out here in the desert? Five years? Well, I, I, I think you're a beautiful young woman and I kind of worry about you out here. That's a bit weird. How long have you been out here, Bruce? Eight years. Eight years. Are you working with any homeless service provider here, here, here. out here? No? Are you struggling with anything right now? No. Drugs, alcohol, or anything? Good for you. If you need anything, just reach out. Cool? Yeah, nice, to nice to meet you, brother. If you tell them you're struggling with alcohol and drug abuse, the they'll probably just arrest you. So, you. Yeah, why would you trust situation. them? Exactly. It's no. not so much a trust issue, because trust was taken away a long time ago. Yeah. Um, that's something that's going to take a while to be built. Have you ever seen this team out here before? Not like this. Not mm. like this. What's different about today? Cameras. Normally it's like trying to get us to do something or Bully. follow their rules or try to make something happen. Or It's not like, you know, normally like out it's here faking to help it, us. The cameras or, are there. You know, check on us. You already placed this way out here. It's like, how, uh, you would come out here and deal with us. It's like, where else can we go? And that's the big thing. It's like, what do you do? Where do you go? I don't know. You have, they're absolutely stuck. So when we show up, you were out with us today. Did you feel any tension between the police and the people that were out there? No, but we were also out there with cameras, though, so it's hard to tell. Good yeah, man. But we're yeah. out there every day, Good. so there's no tension. Um, yeah, right. You know, we bring the services to them where we are, and and we just try to make. I that don't a believe you're connection. a liar, Kitchen. Are you in touch at all with the deputies here in Lancaster, who some people say? are encouraging them to move out into the desert. We are in touch with them. The local deputies who work this geographic area all the time keep in touch and they'll call them and ask them to go to certain areas and and see what the needs are. Don't you think though that the local deputies could be contributing to the problem if they're advising people, as many homeless people have told us, to go outside of the city limits? Sure, that could be the case. I don't know yeah. I don't know if if the truth to it or if if someone you know said, a deputy sheriff basically said you can't be here based on where they were well people we spoke with who were living out there said we feel like we've been pushed out here by the lasd if that is happening by deputy sheriffs i would highly discourage it do you think that the la sheriff's department bears any responsibility for helping make this problem worse in the first place i think we all have responsibility whether it be over or not over, I think this this crisis is has exploded. It impacts communities. It impacts every corner of the county. Bruce Whittinghill lives in the desert and was approached by host. Where that was half. He agreed to be taken to Lancaster's main shelter complex. Hi, Bruce. How are you, brother? <clears throat> He looks terrified, big old guy, doesn't he? The Kensington campus is a 14-acre housing facility with 300 rooms for permanent and transitional housing. Looks like prison. Whitting Hill was offered a spot in the temporary shelter. How does it feel to be here now? I've got expectations to a certain extent, and uh, um, I, I don't feel like I, I'm being crowded or uh, corralled or anything like that or, or forced yeah. to be here. I'm actually... Happy in the fact that I've got the opportunity to be here. Excuse me, a little breathing time. So, what the city is offering people is long term shelter living. Part of the model of Kensington campus is permanent supportive housing. It's filled up, and for folks like this, I, I don't think that's accessible either. What is the solution? Real housing. 
these policy decisions to disinvest in affordable housing go back a few decades and have been the result of neglect by all levels of government. Outreach and services will not end houselessness. Housing will end houselessness. True. The money's got to come from someone there. I'm not being funny, but where does all that money come from? Uh, you know, I don't know. What? Yeah, I'm that, I'd probably be rich. If I was rich, I'd be helping the homeless myself. So, so you know, it comes a full cycle. Because uh, another way the city makes it a lot more difficult for us is um, if we're seen by a cop putting our trash into a dumpster so it's actually taken to the city dump. We get ticketed and fined for it. Well, we're not paying. There goes the whole little cycle. Council tax workers in America. Getting arrested, going to jail, and it all stems from trying to do the right thing and put our trash in the dumpster. Why? For a lot of us, you just kind of want to be left alone, really. You know, I mean, for the most part, we try to stay out of everybody else's way. You know, I mean, really, if if homeless person isn't breaking any laws and they're not, you know, harming anybody, leave them alone. Yeah. Do you want to get out of here? Of course. Um, it's just a matter of when I'll be ready. <laughs> when will you know when you're ready? That I don't know. I'm just I'm old and tired. <laughs> you know, I'm not really that old, but uh, this desert ages you. I bet it does, yeah. It's harsh. I think it's tiring out there and um, probably really depressed a lot of these people. We've got serious mental I'm health Lerman, issues. Editor in chief of Vice News. Well, I know that was completely different. I really hope this video doesn't get copyrighted because if it doesn't, then I could do could do plenty more of these. Uh, but we'll see. We'll give this a try. I'll give it a few weeks. See if I don't get a copyright claim or striking it. I hope I please don't. Cause I'm just trying to spread the awareness with this, just like I do with my goodness in people videos. Um, so we'll see. Please do check out my other great content and playlists, videos, a lot on Paul B. Huston 85. And please also do like, please do subscribe, and please hit the notification bell. Have yourselves an amazing day. Thank you so much.